So let's see how the centric diphthongs are articulated and let's begin with ear. This is the graphic representation of the movement happening um, and uh, we notice that the diphthong begins in the position for E and moves down and back towards E. The lips are neutral. Now in what position does it occur in a word? So it can occur in initial position as an ear, in middle position as in period, and in final position as in here. Okay, how is this diphthong spelled? It can be spelled with the help of ER as in series, hero, with the help of double E plus R as in beer, dear, with the help of E-A-R as in fear, dear, with the help of E-R-E -E as in here, mere, with the help of E-I-R as in weird, we're, with the help of I-E-R as in beer, here, with the help of E-A as in ideal, theater, and let's see what are the exceptional cases. Museum, theological, Ian. Now, let's see how to articulate the diphthong air. So this is the graphic representation of the movement of the glide. And we notice that it begins in the position for air, moving back towards air. And the lips are neutral. Uh, this diphthong can occur in initial position as in air, in middle position as in cared, and in final position as in there. Now how is it spelled? With the help of A-I-R as in chair, here, with the help of A-E-R as in airplane, Aerial. So I'd like to draw your attention that this is the British spelling, spelling of the airplane. Uh, with the help of E A R as in bear, tear. With the help of uh, A R E as in care, dare. And let's see what are the exceptional cases. Maya, prayer, layer, scares. Vea, 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 ea. Uh, one remark here, uh, this diphthong in American English is quite often reduced to just er. So you can just hear there, where, er. Okay, now uh, let's see um, what are the characteristics of the diphthong ue. So this is the graphic representation of the movement, which means that the diphthong begins in the position for U, moving forwards and down towards R. So the lips are loosely rounded at the beginning, right, becoming neutrally spread for the second element. It can occur in middle position, so no, uh, it doesn't occur in initial position, so as in gourd, and in final position as in tour. Let's see what the spelling is. So uh, it can be spelled with the help of double O plus R as in moor, poor. However, in American English, there might be the variation um, and uh, you can hear the word being pronounced as poor. Um, with the help of U-R-E as in endure, cure, obscure, with the help of you as in during, curious, with the help of um, O U R as in tour, word, so and with the help of E W E as in sewer. Now there's nothing left but practice. <laughs>